Hey everyone, today on Garden Fork we're gonna try and make a solar oven out of a cardboard box and make yogurt, which I thought would be kind of fun to do. There's all sorts of stuff on the web about making solar ovens, and I thought, let's make it simple, let's make one out of cardboard, you know? And I saw some cool stuff about making them on a cardboard box, and the beauty of making yogurt in a solar oven is it doesn't have to get really hot. It has to be about 105, 110 degrees. So I think this would be fun. I've been thinking about this all week about how to do it, and I don't know if I'm gonna do it right, but that's the beauty of Garden Fork, isn't it? Um, whether it's gonna work or not. So we'll see. All right, let's go in the kitchen, take the pups, get a cardboard box, and see what happens. All right? Do. Yeah? <laughs> all right, so I thought we'd try this. I've been thinking about this for a while, about different things that you could do with cardboard boxes and cooking. Um, so I went to the food co-op and I got a cardboard box. I spray painted the interior black. Um, <laughs> yogurt only needs to be maintained in temperature about 105, 110 degrees. So this is a very simple uh, solar oven, but we're going to make some more of these. This is very exciting. Use your knife. Be very careful when you're cutting. Remember, a sharp knife is much better than a dull knife. Did I cut the right side? We're gonna tape the cover back shut again. You have this little hole here. Yeah, well, that was an accident. Sharpness. Sharpies, you know, sharpness happens. All right, so I'm gonna cut, so this is gonna be like a, almost like a, a picture frame here, okay? So about an inch in, So this is kind of like a, this is the top. <laughs> and again, what this is totally see the pants, totally see the pants here. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing to the front of the box, okay? All right, I'm gonna pop that out. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna overlap a little bit and tape on here. Okay. And I'm going to cover this top with, with this very secret solar material. I think this is a great project for your family. Get your kids away from the computer and out into the yard. What this is going to do is the sun, the sun is going to come in, it's going to come in and heat this box up, but what this reflector will do is it'll reflect additional sunlight into the box. I don't know, I just thought this all up this morning, so we'll see what happens. We need to keep the heat inside the box, and to do that, we're going to use another very high-tech material here, uh, plastic wrap. I have also read that those, uh, those plastic bags that you roast turkeys in, the plastic for that is really good. But we want to, we don't have to make a super hot oven. Remember, it's about 110, 105 degrees, and I think we can do that with a simple box. But see, I'm just putting some tape on the sides. Seal that edge pretty good. Now you're probably asking, gee Eric, how are we gonna get the yogurt in there? All right, so to get the yogurt in here, we're gonna cut an access slot. Just very lightly score that, like that. Hold that, and there you go. Okay, our oven is complete. So you, you have milk here, which we scald it to 180 degrees, and then we've lowered the temperature down to between 90 and 110 degrees. I just put it in the freezer to do that. And then I use mason jars, like this, and you have to sterilize these jars. And, and I've read where people put them in a vat of boiling water or put them in the dishwasher with the heat setting on. But I remember that you can sterilize your cutting boards by putting them in the microwave. So we're gonna sterilize our mason jars by putting them in the microwave. I think that'll work. To make your yogurt, you can use any kind of yogurt. Uh, this is on organic yogurt. Ideally, it's like a, just a plain, but I just happen to have some peach yogurt, so that's what we're gonna have. Usually you have chocolate. I like chocolate yogurt. Uh, a, a heaping tablespoon of yogurt per quart of milk, all right? You can also use yogurt starter. I like my yogurt kind of thick, or they sometimes they call it custardy yogurt. Um, so I put in non-fat dry milk powder, and I put in 
uh, one third of a cup per quart of milk. And this is a quart of milk that we have here. Uh, we microwave the mason jars. And they are hot. This goes in here. Um, that's not a good idea. I just cracked the bottom of the jar. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, don't do that. Don't pour really cold liquids into a really hot jar. Oh, and our thing is getting wet. Oh. Okay. Um, allow your jars to cool before you pour cold liquid into them. Okay, let's go outside. We have our different temperature sensors. We have our box. We have our dogs. So here we go. So I put this one on the side. This is gonna be an ambient temperature thermometer. So I put the probe in. So, and I'm gonna take this flap and I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the sun and adjust the flap so it's just, it's taking more sunlight and bouncing it from here into our solar oven. Oh, I have to throw the ball. So how often do you think you're gonna have to come out here and shift the box around? I think, the, I've just been watching the sun and I think it's fine. I mean, I don't know, we'll find out. I've never done this before. The temperature in the box is about 110, 112 degrees right now. Wow, it feels really warm. It's still very liquidy. Yeah, it needs to cook longer. A couple hours We're kind of running out of daylight, so I don't know where we're gonna move this. So that's it for today? Well, the sun is behind the trees, so I'm just gonna, for this batch, I'm gonna put it in the, um, I'm gonna preheat the oven and put this in there. And then um, we'll set this up for tomorrow morning and we'll do it again. All right, so we're on phase two because we ran out of sunlight last week, I mean yesterday. So we're gonna do this again. Um, I made some new yogurt. I put the box out and kind of preheated it and we're gonna move it in the sun today and we'll see how this works, all right? I just think this is a cool, thing to do. I love it and I think kids would like this too. We've moved this a couple times. It looks great in there. Cooking away. All right. All right, so here we go. A little taste. Mmm. It's pretty tart, but it's it tastes great. I love this. Made by the sun. What's not to like about that? This is great. Does it taste any different than when you made it inside? Yeah. Um, but I think every batch tastes a little different when you do the homemade yogurt because just the temperature fluctuations. I mean, the warmer the yogurt gets when you make it, um, the more tangy it gets. So, again, it's a great project for kids. They can learn about solar energy, get them out of the house, and with a piece of cardboard and some aluminum foil. Get Eric out of the house. Yeah. All right, come to the greenhouse. We'll have a little diagram and some pictures, recipe, all that kind of thing. All right? I'll wash the spoon, okay? People are gonna ask. <laughs> That's a lovely thing to hold.